The news of what was discussed in Pyongyang was, of course, not only of interest to those in Korea, but was reported around the world as well. Uh, Hong Yu reports on how the global media covered the Pyongyang Joint uh, Declaration. The world's media were all interested in what the leaders of the two Koreas had to say. Soon after the leaders announced the details of their agreement, U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted about their announcement. He said that Kim Jong-un has agreed to allow nuclear inspections subject to final negotiations and to permanently dismantle a test site and launch pad in the presence of international experts. In the meantime, there will be no rocket or nuclear testing. Hero remains to continue being returned home to the United States. Also, North and South Korea will file a joint bid to host the 2032 Olympics. Very exciting. British newspaper The Guardian reported that North Korea had agreed to shut down its missile test sites. It emphasized that Moon Jae-in said the two leaders have agreed to step that will lead to a nuclear-free peninsula. Japanese newspaper Asahi Shimbun also focused its report on North Korea agreeing to invite foreign experts to verify its permanent scrapping of its missile sites. It also highlighted the importance of this summit, saying, more than in their previous encounters, when the mere fact of meeting and resuming a dialogue was seen as a major step forward, Moon is under pressure to leave Thursday with some concrete accomplishments. CNN reported that South and North Korea have committed to an era of no war, taking a step closer to peace by signing a joint military agreement that removes the threat of conflict on the peninsula. The joint military agreement was signed right after the Pyongyang joint agreement. Most foreign media highlighted the fact that North Korea has agreed to shut down its missile test sites since progress towards denuclearizing North Korea is what the rest of the world is most interested in. Hong Yu, Arirang News.